Welcome back to this week's video. Today, we're in search of cooler temperatures. It's gotta be in the mid 90s here in Minnesota. We're talking close to 100 degrees. I stopped at the Weather Rock, see what it says? It says it's gonna be hot. The only way that we can escape the heat here in Minnesota, if you still wanna be outside, is to get out on the lake. So that's where we're heading. Going up to the North Shore, Lake Superior, gonna find some great dispersed camping, bringing you guys with. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna be picking up some supplies for the weekend. This Walmart's kinda of nice. I've stayed here many times in the past. You might recognize it from some other videos, but we're gonna go inside, pick up some supplies for the weekend, and we're gonna get heading north. Well, I got everything packed up. I think we're ready to get on the road. What a difference coming up here makes. So it was about 72 degrees at 10 o'clock when I left the house this morning. Right now, it's 59 degrees out. We still got about another two and a half hours to go north. Anytime you can get by this lake, temperature just drops right down. I absolutely love it. Let's get back on the road. I'm glad I came up this route. All of these places that would normally be packed full of tourists are all empty. With all the road construction going on on I-35, that pretty much cut off all the traffic on Scenic 61 coming up the North Shore. All of these little spots, I have to myself. These spots during the summer would normally be full of cars. temperature change is pretty significant. I just looked on the phone. It's 81 degrees back home. It's 51 degrees right now. Look at this view. We were up in the 90s last week. This week it's supposed to be up close to 100 all weekend. I never thought that I would need to bring a hoodie. So I don't have a hoodie or jacket and it's downright chilly up here. Let's see what else we can find. A couple of years ago, I was up here and north of Two Harbors, I was able to find a lake that had a rustic campsite on it. That's what I'm gonna go look for this afternoon. So right now we just turned onto the Sand Lake Road. Let me pull off and show you guys what I got on my phone. So what we're looking at, is this area where I'm at right here. If I click on it, it's gonna tell me that I'm in the Superior National Forest. So this area where we got right now, we could do some boondocking here. We're gonna go back a little ways, and see what this campground looks like. such luck. Up here in the Arrowhead part of Minnesota, it's really, 
really big up here. Thankfully, they do have some really nice tar roads, though, too. Sometimes you can drive for hours, though, to get from point A to point B. A lot of pretty views. Looks like a National Forest campground. Maybe we'll pull in, just check it out, see how many people are there. This here is McDougal Campground in the Superior National Forest. Looks like this campground is completely closed. I have no idea why they would do that. Who knows what they're thinking about why they close stuff down. Let's go walk this. You can tell just because of the way that the road is that nobody's been back here for a while. Well, here we go. Due to high impacts resulting from the 2021 Greenwood fire, the place is closed. Use one of the other campgrounds. Well, at least I know why the campgrounds are closed. Just an absolutely perfect temperature. It's maybe 65 degrees right now, a little bit of a wind, a beautiful day. Isabella Campground. The gate's open. That's a good sign. Boy, these are tiny spots. I mean tiny. There's a couple of people here. Step out, take a look, and see what 15 bucks a night will get you. It's got a fire ring. Kind of looks like most of the National Forest campgrounds. They're smaller spots, but they're separated pretty well. It was a bad move leaving the windows down. I got thousands of mosquitoes in here now. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, just outside of Isabella, I got back on US Forestry Road 171. This is all superior national forest land again. Hopefully we'll find something out here. Usually these kinds of roads out here have campgrounds at them. Forest Road 369. Let's see what the sign closure says. Eh, close enough. So I found something interesting. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and I mean the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'll show you guys on the GPS really quick where I'm at, and then what I found. If we take a look at my GPS.
You can see this is the arrowhead of Minnesota, and I am just right in the thick of the National Superior Forest. I've been driving for, I don't know, probably 60 miles on dirt roads, and I came across a tree trunk that has a tire that was painted orange. I think this road maybe is marked for a camping spot. Let me show you what I mean. So that's the tire I saw, and it comes to this path. I looked down here and saw it looked like an opening. Maybe someone's just marked it as a possible camping site. Let's go check it out. It's absolutely what it is. And this is a beautiful spot too. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's all these really big rock walls that surround it in here. This is gorgeous. I think this is where we're staying. For sure. Too shabby. Skulls over here. As long as they're not human skulls, I guess I'm okay with it. Another campsite. Another fire ring. Well, this is odd here. It looks like maybe a lot of water comes in the area. And did they kind of dig this out for uh, keep the water out of a tent area maybe? Road goes down here. It's really pretty back here. Look at that fire ring. Well, I was looking for a private spot this weekend. This is it. It's getting a little bit later in the day. Really, probably just gonna make some supper tonight, relax for the rest of the day. Tomorrow we'll get up, head closer to the lake, maybe even try and get some fishing in. Tonight, I think we're just gonna sit back and relax. I decided to get up early this morning. It's about 4.50 right now. Sun's just coming up. It's beautiful out here. This is a really pretty woods out here. There's not a lot of underbrush, so you can see through a lot of it. Looks so cool. Well, that job's done. I can finally get the day started. This was definitely a good spot. I'm glad I found this place. In fact, I think I'm gonna pin it. I'm definitely thinking this was a deer camp. So we found the skulls, but the other thing that I found that I, I missed was the skulls are sitting in a tree that actually has a brace going across it. That's where they would hang the deer. All right, it is time to get moving on this morning. I just noticed I probably trapped 50 mosquitoes in the camper. I forgot, sitting at a quarter tank of gas. 
we got to find the quickest route back to civilization. And on these uh, forestry roads, there's a lot of times no quick route. I think I've got about uh, 60 miles before I get to a town called Ilgen. And uh, we'll get some gas there. I made it to the gas station. This one's gonna hurt. It's like, it's ridiculous. Found a jacket, they even have it in my color. It's gonna be a beautiful day. The plan now is just to drive north. I'll get into Grand Marais and check my phone, uh, try and find an interior lake where maybe I can do some fishing. I would try and set up on Superior, but I'll be honest with you, it's such a big lake, I wouldn't even know where to begin. I think it'd be easier if I just got to a boat landing on an interior lake. That way, I'd probably have a better chance at Northerns, maybe a bass. Stop at this rest stop and see what we can come up with this afternoon. Six hour limit? Yeah, I think this might work. We'll see what happens later tonight. This is a pretty nice spot. Let's go check this out. So happy I stopped and got this jacket. This is a really nice wayside. I've never stopped at this one before. You remember how I said that up here on the North Shore, it's a drive to get to anywhere? Well, we got about a 45 minute drive in front of us. The cool part is we're gonna be on the Gunflint Trail. Maybe we'll see a moose, that'd be cool. So we're on a road called South Brule Road. This is a really pretty road. It's seven miles of just this dirt trail really pretty back here there's so much to explore in this national forest it's just never ending looks like I found a pull-off on the way to the campsite I as well check it out I'm guessing it's probably like a staging area for four-wheelers let's see if they have a fire ring up here just a little one so if we're in search of a place to stay, this could be one for tonight. Definitely. 
definitely bugs. It'd be cool to see some wildlife out here. That's the one thing I haven't been getting a lot of on the videos is deer and bear, turkeys, that kind of thing. Let's go try and find some fish. Curious to see how many people are down here at this campground. So far, I haven't come across anybody on these roads. With the other campgrounds not being full, I doubt that this one's going to be full. Well, that's the first shot of the lake. It's a really nice lake. Looks like the campground's completely empty. Two people at the boat landing. And this campground is pretty secluded. Check it out. Here's the road leading into this thing. Pretty tight. Looks to be a free campground. This is a nice level spot. It's a walking trail that goes back to the campsite that I'm in. Nice big spot. Well, it looks like we got the campground to ourselves again. That's all right. I'll take it. So the big question is going to be, am I going to catch a fish tonight? Are we going to get on a bike ride tomorrow? Am I going to stay here? We're going to find that out next week because this video we got in the bag. So I want to thank you guys who stuck around this whole time. I know there was a lot of seat time in this video, a lot of time behind that steering wheel. But when you're out in the national forest and you have this much land to explore, it takes a while to get to the spots. So if you stuck around this whole time, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys again next week. But until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.